Hey Tig Tigers, it's Miss Tremont, and today we are going to have a length review. So we're going to find the length of objects using concrete models for standard units of length, and we're going to describe the inverse relationship between the size of the unit and the number of the units needed to equal the length of an object. And then we're also going to determine the length of an object to the nearest marked unit using our, our rulers, our yardsticks, our meter sticks, and measuring tapes. So let's get started. So sometimes we don't always have a ruler on hand and we need to use possibly um, something else. And sometimes we can see other objects that represent that length. So in this case, we have a paper clip and the paper clip represents one inch. So we're gonna see Josh and he um, finds a rolling pin and he wants to use the paper clips to measure the rolling pin. And if each paper clip equals one inch, how many inches is the rolling pin? So what we are going to do, we are gonna estimate how many we think is going to, um, it's going to take, and then we're going to solve it. So I want you to just take a moment, look at the rolling pin and think in your head, okay, how many paper clips would I use to measure this rolling pin? And as we prepare to get ready to measure, I just like to draw a line on each side. So we wanna go from edge to edge to measure our rolling pin. And then I'm gonna take each one. And remember we're starting, we want the edge of that paper clip to be right at the, that edge of where it begins. And remember, we don't want the next one to be over here. We want it to be edge to edge. We've used two paper clips so far. Three, four, five, six, and seven. So if you estimated seven, you are correct. It's okay if you get it wrong. This is why we estimate and then we check um, check to make sure that we got it wrong. So that means that if this is seven paper clips long and one inch is one paper clip, then it's seven inches long for the um, rolling pin. So the same thing for the inches, they use the paper clip. You could also use something to represent centimeters. In this case, um, he finds a salt shaker and he finds out that a one cube equals one centimeter. It has the same length. So he wants to know how many cubes will it take to measure the salt shaker. So again, we are gonna estimate, then we are, I will click and drag the cubes to measure the salt shaker. So just take a moment and think to yourself, how many cubes would it take? And luckily for us, they've already drew our little lines to make sure that we are lining up our um, cubes correctly. So I'm going to start at the very edge. We're using one, two, and remember we're lining them up edge to edge. Three, oops, four, and five. Okay, so if you said five, awesome job. So we know that um, one cube is one centimeter, so five cubes would be the same as five centimeters. So the salt shaker is five centimeters long. So again, Josh goes into his room and he decides to measure his model airplane and he uses color tiles. One of these color tiles equals one inch. So how long is his model airplane? So again, we're gonna estimate, then we will click and drag the color tiles to find out. So I want you to think to yourself, how many color tiles would I use? And again, I'm just drawing a line at the edge of the object so we can keep it straight. 
and excuse my bad lines. So here's our first tile. Remember, we're going to line it up to the edge of the line where the object begins. And we're going to go edge to edge. And then just keep going. Remember, we want them to be touching right next to each other, touching each other. We do not want any gaps. And there we go. So then we just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we've used eight tiles. Remember, one tile equals one inch, so therefore it is eight inches long. And just one more. Um, we want to measure the rubber duck. Remember, um, if we are using cubic squares, he wants to know how many centimeters long is the duck. So again, we are going to estimate, just make an educated guess, and then we are going to click and drag the cubes to find out. So here is our centimeter cube. So one of these has the length of one centimeter. So we can use these to measure our duck. So they've been so nice and put, put these lines across so we know where to start and where to stop. We have one, two, oops. Try that. We have three, So it uses about five. <laughs> so if one cube is one centimeter, then we used five cubes, then it is five centimeters long. So now that we've done used um, non-standard units of measurement, we're going to start using our ruler. Remember, length is just, we're just finding out how long an object is, and we're going to determine the length using our rulers, um, guard sticks, meter sticks, and measuring tapes. So there's a lot of different ways you can see your rulers. Remember, some of our rulers, especially in the classroom, had two different sides. We have one that has the inches. And remember, these are further apart. And then we have, on the other side, the centimeters, which were smaller units of measurement. So, Again, we're going to estimate and measure. We're going to look at the objects below. We're going to estimate the length, and then we're going to move our ruler or our book to our ruler to find the actual measurement. So let's see. So let's look at our, here's our ruler down here, and let's think to ourselves, how long do we think that this book is? Okay. So I'm going to make an estimate. I'm just going to say, I think it's about um, three inches long. And I can take my ruler. Remember, as you can see, that they have our lines already there for us, so we can line them up correctly. Remember, we are always using, starting at the very edge, this just means zero is where it starts, and then it's one, two, three, and so on and we want to start at zero, okay? So as you can see, it is one, two, three. So the book is three inches long. So if you said three inches, great. If not, it's totally okay, because we are just estimating and then checking our work. So we're going to try another one. We're going to look at these shoes. We're going to estimate the length of the shoes um, and then use our ruler to find the actual measurement. So looking at our shoes, how long do we think these shoes might be? I'm just gonna make an estimate. I think the shoes might be five inches long. And I want you to uh, give me an estimate. And now I'm gonna use my ruler. Remember, we are lining up. We already have our lines on here, our dotted lines, to show where we should be. Um, measuring to and from. Remember, we start at zero. We don't start all the way over here. We always want to start at zero so we can count. 
And as you can see, we started at zero. This is one, two, three, four, five, and it ended right on the number six. So these shoes are actually six inches long. So my estimate was not correct. It was a pretty good estimate, but it was not correct. So, so now that we use the inches side of our ruler, we're gonna look at our centimeters to measure these lines and objects to the nearest centimeter. So remember, some things are not always gonna be perfectly on a number. We're gonna to have to find the closest number that it comes to. So again, let's look at number at um, letter A. And as we can see this blue line, we wanna measure how long we think it is. So we're gonna just bring our ruler up. Again, we need to um, match up the edge to the edge of my ruler. And the edge of my ruler, just that means I, I'm starting at zero and I am on the centimeter side because it's asking for centimeters. And then if we go all the way across to see where it stops, the line stops right at the number nine. So that means that it is nine centimeters. Okay, looking at B, see if you can figure out how many centimeters it is before I figure it out. So again, we were using our centimeters ruler we're looking at our ruler and see, as you can see, I have centimeters and inches, but we wanna use the centimeter side. I'm going to make sure that I'm lining up the edge of my line to the edge of my ruler, which starts at zero. And if you said five centimeters, you are correct. Looking at letter B, I mean at C. So again, see if you can get it before I do. Remember, we're looking at our blue line. We wanna line up our line, the edge of the line to the edge of our ruler, which starts at zero. And it ends at the number 14. So if you said 14 centimeters, that is correct. And remember centimeters is just represented by CM. Looking at D, again, we have our pencil. We start at the very edge of our pencil. And that we're going to line it up to our ruler that starts at zero. Go all the way across and find where it stops and find the closest number, which is the number eight or eight centimeters. And then finally, our picture of the gingerbread man. We're going to line it up again to the edge and measure, starting at zero, going all the way to the number six. Okay, sometimes you might see a broken ruler and that is okay. Let's say it started at the number three and then the number nine, you would simply just take nine minus three to get six centimeters. Same thing here, if we started at the number one and it stopped at the number seven, you would simply take the bigger number and subtract the smaller number, seven minus one to be six centimeters. Okay, sometimes, uh, we might have a broken ruler and that might happen and that is okay. We can still figure out the measurement. So looking at this yellow crayon, we can see that we are starting at the at zero or at the very edge of our ruler and it's going all the way across and we're stopping at the number seven. And that just means that the crayon is seven inches long. And like I said earlier, you might have it starting not at the zero. So in this case, we have the ruler here. Again, they're not starting at the zero, they're starting at the number two. And it ends at the number nine. So when this happens, like I said, we take that number that it stopped at, we can take nine, we can subtract two, And then our answer would be seven. So again, we're gonna use our ruler to measure the length of our slug to the nearest inch. I wanna see if you can uh, get the answer before I do. Remember, here's our slug. We want to use our ruler and move it to where it begins and where it ends. 
Okay, so we're starting at zero. Remember, we always start at zero on our ruler, making sure that we are measuring the length to the nearest inch, make sure that we are on the correct side. This slug, I think, is about three inches long. So again, moving the ruler to measure the length of a nail to the nearest inch. Remember, we take our ruler, make sure that we are on the correct side, which we are on the inches. Remember, inch is represented by I N. We make sure that we line up to the edge to the zero and go all the way across to where it stops. And the nail is about two inches long. So remember, you can do this at home. This is IXL.com if you want to, um, that we have used in school before, and you can um, use this at home. And then we'll do, just do one more. We're going to move the ruler again to measure the length of the sword to the nearest inch. Remembering that we are lining up our, the edge of our object to the zero on our ruler. And we go all the way across to where it stops and find the number, which is the number three. Okay, again, if we had a broken ruler, let's say it started at the number one and stopped at the number four. Again, we would do four minus one, and that would still be three. So now looking at our ruler, we are gonna be measuring the length of the line to the nearest centimeter. So again, we need to make sure that when, you, when you're reusing a ruler, we're on the correct side. So of course, centimeter is represented by the CM. Remember, we're taking the ruler, we want to make sure that it is lining up to the edge of the line to the zero. And we go all the way across until it stops, which is at the number five. So if you got number five, excellent job. So it is five centimeters long. Because remember, centimeters and inches are different lengths. So we need to make sure that we label um, the length correctly. So again, we're gonna move the ruler to measure the length of the line to the nearest centimeter. So it kind of looks like here we have a broken one. So let's say that it is one and it stops at eight. Again, you can still do this. You can just take eight and subtract one. Eight minus one is seven. But we can move our ruler. Remember again, we're starting at zero. Go all the way across until the line stops and find the number closest, which is the number seven. And then one more. Again, we're gonna move the ruler to measure the length of the nail to the nearest centimeter. Make sure that we're lining it up to zero. Go all the way across and find where it stops, and that is six. Okay, so I hope that was a great review. Remember length, you're just finding out how um, long an object is. You can use this with non-standard units of measurement or with standard units of measurement. We are using inches and centimeters. If that's not available, you can always use cubes or another um, um, maybe color tiles. So there's a lot of different ways to measure. Um, on your assignment today, you will be um, using your paper ruler to measure objects on your paper. Um, and when you are finished, make sure that you turn it in to your teacher. And I hope you have a great week, Tigers.